So this is bougie date gone, solo date gone wrong for Valentine's Day. Sorry, I'm just asking. So I agree with ZZ Mills' recent video that she did. Oh, you know, life is getting tough. It's, it's getting real tough. And I, I'm taking my own self to restaurants. So what are you saying? It came up on my search of romantic restaurants. Well, no, I've, I've tasted it and I don't really like it. I hate to be that one, but um, hence the red lippy. <laughs> the Tinder swindler is the one to watch. <laughs> I hope I didn't cause any trouble in the kitchen. I won't always be smiling and laughing at my own jokes as I normally am. Flustered, rushing through London. I partially ran to get here. I had to loop a circle twice just so that I could find parking because I didn't want to hit the congestion charge zone. An absolute nightmare. Then my lipstick has obviously faded away. Like, I'm still in my trainers right now. It's just a hot mess. <laughs> but I made it to 14 Hills. Uh, this is definitely gonna be, because the kitchen's closing, I had no idea that there was such restrictions on the lunchtime. I thought it was just obviously open as a normal restaurant. So the bar is still gonna be open in the coming hours. Hi. Um, <coughs> thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> so the bar is still going to be open in the coming hours um, it's just the restaurant that closes so trust me to get the last booking which was 2.30 and be late with that thinking oh I'll just call them in the car no problem yeah it just was, it was just absolute nightmare getting here and uh, parking and then trying to run and then call Ringo app and then try to find out where I'm going on Google Maps it was just wow a lot going on also had a security it's kind of like an airport vibe downstairs with regards to security getting in here you have to put your stuff on the trolley the conveyor belt and um, for it to be searched and it's just strange really I wonder what's happened here as well prior to now <coughs> um, but yes I made it in with about two minutes spare so I'm not necessarily seated in a place that I would like to be I like to be by the window and kind of away from, I like to be able to people watch really and I don't really feel like I'm in that mode. I've got work people here, you know, obviously having their Friday chats and it's just, it's a lot. Okay, so I'm feeling a bit happier now. I've changed my table, had a bit of food. And now I've got the views, which is what, I, this is just my goal in life, is to get table view, window view seats. Um, I'm just choosing now. So what do you think about the custard tart? Custard tart is really good, it's very nutty flavour. You've got nutmeg at the top and it comes with salted caramel ice cream on the side. Or do you should try creme brulee. You can also That's when it, but it's burnt at the top, yeah, isn't it? The top with, with sugar. With the coffee, which is Italian meringue with coffee mousse at the top. And mm. Are you my new waiter, by the way? Together. Are you my new waiter? Mm. Oh, okay. Because it's, it's a few of you that I've seen, is it? Oh, okay. Okay, cool. Oh, yeah, You're no. just all in the area just yes, doing your yeah. thing. Cool, I get it, I get it. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, I mean, I can try the, the I mean, the custard tart. Custard tart? Yeah. Oh, sure, yes. Coming right up to Yeah, thank you. So I have gone for the custard tart. point already where I'm quite thinking about what to do with these solo dates is it that I you know what's the purpose of it yes I'm taking myself out yes I'm having a good time yes I'm spending a lot of money 
but what is the purpose? I'm still figuring it out to be fair. I just thought I'd start doing it and record it and see what happens. And uh, I've had a good few, you know, a few friends, sisters of mine, kind of just on their own accord, just tell me what they think in terms of the feedback so far. So it's just open at the moment, you know? Um, yeah, I do see myself continuing to do it. I just want more of a an ammo, as it were. More of a motive. But not everything comes straight away. Not everything comes immediately. I'm not really feeling the salted caramel. I might ask for vanilla. Mm. Just, um... <laughs> There's like five of them all queued up, lined up by the till. Hi. Hi. Um, you know the salted caramel? Can I get vanilla instead? Is it possible? Well, no, I've, I've tasted it and I don't really like it. That's what I'm asking for. It's just literally what I've only had one too, but I just don't really like the taste. Sorry, I'm just asking. I'm one of those. I'm just, you know, I just like what I like. I'm sorry. I'm too much. I am that customer. I mean, I don't believe in being annoying intentionally, but at the same time, I think sometimes it's just not a nice taste. Alright. Yeah. Please, it's just, it's just giving me some kind of taste It's not really nice. I don't know why. Yes, vanilla, please. I'm allergic to nuts, so yeah, definitely vanilla. Thanks so much. Appreciate that. I hate to be that one, but um, I just think I do, I do, I do feel a certain way when I'm parting with my money, and it just for me, I don't know. And I know we've all got different taste buds, but some of these things are more about acquired taste, and I, I don't. If my taste buds aren't on that acquired taste wavelength, then I'm just I'm sorry. I can't force them to be. So I, I yes, I'm thankful that he was quite willing to change the ice cream to vanilla for me. Vanilla is always my safe option anyway, so that's what I tend to go for in general. I just sound really boring, really boring. But I think I've explained anyway. I'm quite safe in my food choosing because of my nut allergy. So I just like simple stuff. Just keep it sweet, keep it cool, keep it simple, and at least I know that I'm gonna be all right and not go into a state of reaction just 10 minutes after eating food. So, yeah. Yes, this is a nice Friday afternoon. I'm just trying to enjoy it, you know? I didn't necessarily have the best start coming in here. It was rushed. As I said, I'm still in my trainers now. There's no point switching up. It just looks a bit also ghetto, possibly to be changing shoes like that under the table and and then getting your bag and you know I just I can't I'm not doing it today basically I'm gonna just keep it as is and um, yeah just is what it is so why I chose 14 hills was because it came up on my search of romantic restaurants and I can see why it's the decor it's the views and I'm sure at night it's even more beautiful as well so once again it was just about solo dating not waiting for a man to, to go out on to a romantic restaurant but taking myself to a romantic restaurant I think it was evening yes I'd definitely have a dress on I definitely would have gone to town as it were but yeah I'm here that's the main thing and I think yeah, this, roof, this year for me is really about loving self, loving myself, um, putting myself first, uh, saying yes to myself. And anyone that's watched my other video, my other vlog on um, duck and waffle, when I was kind of sharing and having that moment where I was looking outside of the window, and as much as that was lovely, it really was. It was just amazing. The sight was amazing. And I was sat in the seat where it was like, kind of, you could get two-way sights, views. Looking on at the Tower Bridge on the right-hand side, 
yeah. and the Gherkin and then looking to the left at just yeah other bridges I'm not even sure what, what ones um, okay it looks like they're giving me a brand new dessert I just all I wanted was the ice cream to change um, but yeah even that that was lovely and I was feeling okay to go but it just it was just like wow this is lovely but would I want to do this for the rest of my life no I wouldn't by force I mean I mean where there's no guy at all um, and I think as well after a while you just get a bit redundant it gets this dating just gets so monotonous and tiring and yeah, I mean, maybe I'll keep the restaurants for myself, but as I'm dating, I'd probably like to meet a guy elsewhere. Because I'm, especially now that I'm doing the solo dates at restaurants, it, essentially, even though it's probably going to change in, in summer when the seasons change, but I don't want to sit at another restaurant with a guy. Thank you. Okay, we had a bit of attitude there. <laughs> I hope I didn't cause any trouble in the kitchen. Um... So, yes, that's it. Give me a brand new dessert. I won't tip it up too much because it might fall. But yeah, brand new dessert, even though it was just the ice cream that I wanted. Um, so yeah, that's kind of it, really. That is it. When I'm with a guy, I think that's what I'm going to say this year for dating. I don't want to sit at another restaurant, I don't think. So I agree with ZZ Mills' recent video that she did with regards to you know guys can we change it up it's true I'm gonna need you to change it up definitely this year because yeah like, I'm taking my own self to restaurants so what are you saying what are you saying where can we go please that's not sitting down um, at a table and looking out of the window I was just sitting here thinking about am I gonna get a drink today and I think I'm gonna stick to my water I'll be honest with you, I'm not trying to go broke looking rich, I'm not trying to do it, you know, got to be sensible and yeah, as I'm adulting as well, you know, life is getting tough, it's, it's getting real tough and I know that some people might even think that, why do you keep going on about adulting? Um, I would admit that I've had quite a sheltered-ish upbringing and yeah i'm feeling it now and you know we all have our different we're all at different spaces and, and times and this is it for me reality's kicked in now the adult life is real um so so yeah i'm i'm just definitely not really trying to be i don't know some of my outfits might not be fully matching i would probably like to get another pair of shoes or do this or get another bag i'm just rocking with what i have yeah i, I can't <laughs> i just can't do it um, as I start this whole solo date and of course I want to look amazing I want companies to and brands to give me clothes and I want to be trendy and fashionable but yeah I also need to be sensible and, and mindful about where I'm at as well so so yeah no drink today because I've parked today I've driven in and I've parked so that is the drink basically can't have it all man if I'm going to really hit these restaurants as well, I need to be mindful and have some kind of... I think I even said I'm backtracking already, backpedalling, because I said in my last vlog, or vlog before, at Madison, oh yeah, I'm not going to go out, I just want to, you know, just enjoy and turn up. And I'm like, listen, I have to backpedal on that statement. No, that's not the case. So actually, the more restaurants I go to, especially if it's twice a week, I mean, wow. That could be a whole load of money. So, and I'm not there yet. Of course, I'd like to do that, and I'd like to do it professionally, and you know, on a, definitely on a regular basis. But yeah, I'm not there yet. Definitely not. Let me not let the voice over money fool me, but I'm not there. Okay. So I have just finished my dessert, and I've got about 20 minutes until I have to start making my way back to the car. Food was decent. I kind of didn't want to go to town because it really is that whole thing of there's rice at home and not just, you know, figuratively, literally, there is rice at home. Jollof, rice and peas, escovitch fish, planting. Yeah, like I am cool. 
at home. So I just, I mean, I've had my little nibble bits, but that's about it. I'm not really trying to be going to town. As I said, doing the most for no reason. It's just unnecessary. Yeah, I might go and see actually Mr. Olu and see how, see baby really. It's been quite a short and sweet visit here. I mean, whilst I'm here, I just wanted to also talk about or share my thoughts on this whole, which I probably will do a video on, just dedicated to this topic of the Tinder, the Tinder swindler. Wow. And this guy knew what he was doing. He was, he's a professional. And you need, it's a certain kind of, certain kind of crazy psycho intelligence for that. Like, the way he mastered it. And when I started watching it at first, the first 10 minutes of it, 15, 20, I was like, do you know what? As he's with the next girl, the current, the old girl is paying for that. It's so, I knew that, I picked that up straight away. I think it could have happened to anyone. I really, really do. For love, for the name of love, it's wild. But yeah, I guess as well, no one forced them. It's another thing, no one forced them to do it. Just, just misjudgment. The Tinder swindler is the one to watch. Just quick look. Quickly film this. Okay. So what is our payment system is done? I've been trying since I got the email since the morning. So you cannot do. I'm going to try it tomorrow morning. But uh, once it's working, I'll send another email. Yeah, because we have a couple of new inspectors that they yeah. finalize those uh, trainings. So. You cannot rest until you see your car running. Imagine running back to the car from running, running to the restaurant, running back to the car because you've now got only like all of one minute before you get a ticket. <coughs> Awful. Like, wow. My whole life is just running. Running, 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 running. Okay, so um, <coughs> pretty much in, I was in double minds anyway about recording and just finalising um, this side of the vlog. Uh, but yeah, I just thought to still do it and close as I normally do. And it's okay to share what's going on with me right now. So, um, yesterday I had uh, the honour of managing the event of, it's not even an event, uh, but homegoing for my old landlord, um, who suddenly passed away at 37 years old. And I've just watched the funeral because I didn't get a chance from being at the venue and yeah just i mean i started watching it on the way home in the car so it was quite a long journey back from <clears throat> east central and yeah i just wanted to watch it asap really you know obviously that as, as i wasn't really there and the reception was quite bad at the venue whilst i was setting up so i just thought i'd watch it you know as soon as possible so you know just watching it and just just overcome with so much i think it's finally hitting me now um how much of a mark <clears throat> Mute left, his name is Mute, um, on his family, you know, outer family, like friends, colleagues, it's just, it's, yeah, it's endless, um, and it's just a testament to who this guy really was, and I'm just reminded of the fact that sometimes when people are here on this earth, how much we can you know, not, although we won't get the full picture of who they are, because obviously each person is a person to an individual. So sometimes you only get the one angle, <clears throat> even though you can see different layers, you get the one angle of that person. It might be like a mentor friendship, you know, and obviously a colleague work relationship, but obviously with that, it's, I guess you've got to be semi-professional. You can be friends, friendly, but you know, when you're working together, some people like to put boundaries up and all these other things. And it's just, yeah, I'm just, honestly, it's hit me now. Um, and yeah, it's just really, really, like, it's sad. It honestly, it's sad. Very sad. 
Um, but yeah, it's a celebration of life as well. But yeah, obviously grieving still happens. It's going to happen for the family. And yeah, I just wanted to share really, you know, I just, I, I still want to, I still wanted to close out my time today at 14 Hills. Um, and I don't even do this kind of crying on social media necessarily, but I'm also like, I'm a human being. And if I'm really trying to be transparent out here, I won't always be smiling and laughing at my own jokes as I normally am. Sometimes it will be much different to that. And I just have to be okay with it. I am okay with that. So yeah, it's just very emotional um, and yeah, very sad. And yeah, it's just really just making me just appreciate, uh, you know, life, people here, um, I mean, this man was 37 years old, you know, tomorrow really isn't promised. So it really is about living every moment and day with, pers um, with, with purpose and intentionality. And yeah, we just don't know. We just don't know when our time is. So yeah, 14 Hills restaurant was nice. Um, and, uh, yeah it was nice it was nice a nice day um despite being very much chaotic in the beginning I, I mean i say this i've started to say this a few times now but i really need to leave some more time to get ready because i don't like the stressful i mean yeah looking flustered like looking like i've just you know been dragged from a bush backwards <laughs> walking into the restaurant don't get a chance to go to the toilet and even get my heels on and stuff like that it's just not me I just don't like it and you know although I um, wasn't going to do the vlog after all I just thought I'd come back another day because I can't start like this but you know it is what it is but yes <clears throat> that is it I definitely will be back to 14 hills at another time uh, probably evening evening will probably be better for me to go just to experience that obviously I've been daytime now so evening obviously the vibes are different and that is that so yes guys i will see you next week on my solo date vlog and this is a perfect perfect um restaurant for valentine's day it is it is nice it's a nice vibe it's a nice background you know um, the kind of views are nice so I would definitely recommend it for Valentine's because obviously I took myself for Valentine's. So yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you very much. I will see you on the next solo date. And also let me know if there's anything that you want to see, anywhere you want me to go. Put that in the comments. Let's see, let's see, let's see your suggestions. All right, guys, bye. Mm -hmm.